friends, are you ready for today's story? Today, we're going to read Julius, the baby of the world. What do you see in the picture? Yep, we see a baby, and that baby is probably Julius. And we see somebody else wearing a mask, making scary faces to that baby. Wonder who that is. This story is written by Kevin Hankis. And he is the author. Julius, the Baby of the World by Kevin Hankis, illustrated by Scholastic Inc. And here we see the girl, who I think is the same girl from the cover, and her parents. And she's pointing at this bump in her mommy's tummy. What could be there? Right, that's probably where the baby is. It says, you mean that bump is going to be a baby? I thought you were just getting fat like Aunt Mona. Is that a kind thing to say? No. There are some thoughts that we think that we need to keep inside our brain. We don't say them out loud because if we say them out loud, it's very rude. And she's saying that she thought her mom was just getting fat. She's allowed to think that, but not allowed to say that. That's not good manners. Here she goes. She says, hooray! Hooray is a happy sound. And now here she says, we're having a baby. And she's playing and pretending she's having a baby. She put a pillow under her shirt. There she is, putting her head on her mommy's tummy. Before Julius was born, Lily was the best big sister in the world. She gave him things. Over here it says, these are for the baby. She was gonna give those to her baby. Aw. She gave him things. She told him secrets. And she sang lullabies to him every night. What a good big sister she is. After Julius was born, it was a different story. Lily took her things back. These are mine. She pinched his tail. Pinch. And she yelled insulting comments into his crib. I am the queen, said Lily, and I hate Julius. <gasps> oh my goodness, is she being nice? No. And we don't say hate, that is a strong word. Why is she saying these mean things? How does she feel? J, j, jealous. She's jealous of that baby. But her parents loved him. They kissed his wet pink nose. They admired his small black eyes and they stroked his sweet white fur. Lily thought his wet pink nose was slimy. She thought his small black eyes were beady and she thought his sweet white fur was not so sweet, especially when he needed a diaper change. Julius is the baby of the world, chimed Lily's parents. Dis Disgusting, said Lily. Ooh, she's using her jealous eyes. Lily had to share her room with Julius. After Julius goes away, do I get my room back? She asked. Julius isn't going anywhere, said Lily's mother. And he didn't. He stayed and stayed and stayed. She made a sign for her door that says royalty only, keep out. But now she has to share her room with the baby. Here he is, he's just being cute and sweet. 
Lily was supposed to be very quiet while Julia slept. Why are you supposed to be quiet when someone's sleeping? Right. So you don't wake them up. Mm -hmm. After Julius goes away, can I talk like a normal person again? She shouted. Julius isn't going anywhere, said Lily's father. And he didn't. He stayed and stayed and stayed. If she's yelling when he's supposed to be sleeping, she should get in trouble, right? Mm -hmm. We want Julius to grow up to be as extraordinary as you, said Lily's mother. So we must tell him constantly how beautiful he is and how much we love him. And they're up here and they're going, we love you, Julius. You're beautiful, Julius. When no one was looking, Lily had her own idea. I hate you. You're ugly. So she's not using nice words. Oh man, she is very jealous. When Julius grows up to be as clever as you, said Lily's father, so... We want him to grow up as clever as you, so we must sing him his numbers and letters whenever possible. Yes, his parents want him to grow up clever. That means smart. So they want to teach him. So they're singing A, B, C, D, E, F, G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When no one was looking, Lily had her own idea. Three, eight, one, five, nine, six. A, J, K, Z, B, S, C, H. She's not doing it in the right order. She's trying to confuse her baby. Lily's parents were more than a bit doubtful about leaving the two of them alone together. Lily tried to frighten Julius with her nifty disguises. Ah, abracadabra. Baby, what baby? I don't hear anything. So here she's trying to scare her baby. That didn't work. She learned magic and tried to make him disappear. Abracadabra, disappear! That doesn't really work. When she, that didn't work, she simply pretended that he didn't exist. Exist means she pretended he wasn't there. Baby, what baby? I don't hear anything. What? Nothing? I don't hear it. Oh, look at her. Where is she? She's sitting in the corner. She's in timeout. It's called for her. She calls it the uncooperative chair. Lily spent more time than usual in the uncooperative chair. Hmm. That's what happens when you're not being nice. Lily's parents showered her with hugs and kisses and treats of all shapes and sizes. They even let her stay up 15 minutes later every night. It didn't matter. Nothing worked. I am the queen, said Lily, and I hate Julius. So even though they're letting her do big girl stuff, she's still jealous and she's still not being nice. But her parents loved him. They kissed his wet pink nose. They admired his small black eyes and they stroked his sweet white fur. Julius is the baby of the world, chimed Lily's parents. Disgusting, said Lily. He's so sweet though. There he is, what's he doing? What did he learn to do? Blow bubbles. Lily's parents were amused when Julius blew a bubble. <clears throat> Babies do that sometimes. Can you believe it? They exclaimed. But Lily did the exact same thing. They said, Lily, let's mind our manners, please. So when the baby did it, they were like, oh, it's so great. And when Lily did, they're like, mind your manners, Lily. Because is blowing bubbles an appropriate thing for babies to do? Yes. Is making spit bubbles an appropriate thing for a big kid to do? No. So he told her to mind her manners. 
So she didn't like when they said the baby could do it and not her. Lily's parents were dazzled when Julius babbled and gurgled. Ga, 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 ma, moo, ma, moo, moo. Such a vocabulary, they exclaimed. They think it's great because they think the baby's trying to learn to talk because that's what babies do. But if Lily did the exact same thing, ga, 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 ma, they said, Lily, let's act our age, please. So she wasn't using her big girl words. When you have your big kid words, you should use them. Lily's parents were amazed when Julius screamed. <gasps> what lung capacity, they exclaimed. But if Lily did the exact same thing, they said what? Should big kids be screaming at the top of their heads? Nope. Lily, let's restrain ourselves, please. Oh, no. One morning, while Lily was busy playing opera, her mother said, why don't you put some of that verbal exuberance to good use? That means why don't you use that loud noise and voice you have to good use? Why don't you tell Julius a nice story? He's too little to understand a story, said Lily. He can understand it in his own way, said Lily's mother. Okay, said Lily, smiling. She's smiling. She said, okay, she's going to tell a story. Do you think she's going to be nice about it? Let's see. Julius, the germ of the world by me, said Lily. Once upon a time, said Lily, there was a baby. His name was Julius. Julius was a real, was really a germ. Julius was like dust under your bed. If he was a number, he would be zero. If he was food, he would be a raisin. Zero is nothing. A raisin tastes like dirt. The end, said Lily. Was she using kind words in her story? Mm-mm. That story earned her 10 minutes in the uncooperative chair. She was being very mean, using mean words to her baby. Lily warned her friends, Chester and Wilson and Victor about babies. Trust me, they're dreadful, she tells her friend. She warned strangers about babies too. You will live to regret that bump under your dress, she said. So she's telling her neighbor who is having a baby too, that she's gonna regret that. She's not gonna want that baby. That's not kind to say. Lily ran away seven times in one morning. I'm really leaving this time, she called. Who knows where they'll find me? Is it safe to run away? Mm -mm. The same afternoon, Lily had a tea party and everyone came, everyone but Julius. Who did she invite? all of her toys, but she didn't invite Julius. Huh, his invitation must have been lost in the mail, she explained. That's not the truth, she didn't invite him. Lily had glorious dreams about Julius. What is she dreaming? She's dreaming that the cat is gonna eat the baby. That's so mean. She also had ghastly nightmares too. Now she's dreaming that the baby is going to eat her. Those are scary dreams. Lily's parents showered her with compliments and praise and niceties of all shapes and sizes. They even let her drink her juice out of the antique china cup. Didn't matter, nothing worked. I am the queen, said Lily, and I hate Julius. Here she made a picture and it says, my entire complete family, my new cup. She said, mom, dad, me. That's all there is really. So who did she not put in her picture? Yep, no baby Julius. Not nice. But her parents loved him. They kissed his wet paint nose, they admired his small black eyes, and they stroked his sweet white fur. 
Julius is the baby of the world, chimed Lily's parents. Disgusting, said Lily. They're loving that baby. When Lily's mother felt up to it, she planned a festive celebration in honor of Julius. What is a festive celebration? Take a look at the picture. It's a party. All the relatives came. There was quite a spread. A spread means lots of food. What's the big deal, said Lily. Haven't they all seen a silly lump before? She's calling the baby a silly lump. She's looking very super jealous this day. Everybody loves a party when it's their party. Apparently not. All afternoon, the relatives hovered over Julius. They kissed his wet pink nose, they admired his small black eyes, and they stroked his sweet white fur. There they are looking at the baby. Aw. Everyone except for this girl. She's not looking. Disgusting, said Cousin Garland. What? said Lily. Julius, said Cousin Garland. I think his wet pink nose is slimy. I think his small black eyes are beady. And I think his sweet white fur is not so sweet. He needs a diaper changed. Oh, now the cousin is being mean too. Those are the same things that Lily said. But look at Lily's face. Does she like it when her cousin says those mean things about her baby? No, Lily's nose twitched. Her eyes narrowed. When your eyes narrow, you're using your angry eyes. Her fur stood on end and her tail quivered. Her tail is quivering, it's shaking. She is getting angry at Garland. talking about my brother, said Lily, and for your information, his nose is shiny, his eyes are sparkly, and his fur smells like perfume. Cousin Garland was speechless. Look at that. Lily is using nice words about her baby because Garland was using mean words, and that made Lily unhappy, and she realized how much she really did love her baby. He can blow bubbles, continued Lily. He can babble and gurgle and he can scream better than anyone. Cousin Garland tried to slink out of the room. That means she tried to sneak away. Stop, said Lily. I am the queen. Watch me closely. So she's telling her Garland cousin to watch her. Lily picked up. Julius, <gasps> she's picking him up. She kissed his wet pink nose. She admired his small black eyes and she stroked his sweet white fur. She's doing all the nice things that her parents were doing. Your turn, said Lily, handing Julius over to Cousin Garland. Kiss! Admire, stroke, Lily commanded. Cousin Garland doesn't want to do it, but Lily told her to do it. She's saying, you be nice to my baby. Now, repeat after me, said Lily. Julius is the baby of the world. Julius is the baby of the world, said Cousin Garland. Louder, said Lily. Julius is the baby of the world. Look at Lily. She's so happy about her baby now. And from then on, he was, in everyone's opinion, especially in Lily's. And she says, we're almost twins. She gave her baby glasses just like her. And let's think about Lily's feelings in this story. In the beginning, 
when she first had her baby. Did she like him? Mm -mm. She was feeling very jealous of her baby because her parents loved the baby and were giving kisses and snuggles and nice words and she wanted all that just for her. So she was jealous of the baby. But Lil Lily, she learned a very important lesson. When her cousin Garland was using mean words to her brother, her heart realized that she really does love her brother and she doesn't want to be mean to him anymore. So she used her kind words for her baby brother. Friends, thank you for listening to this story with me. I'll see you later. Bye.